In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a live lobster. Okay, in fact, this one here, as you'll notice, I made uh, for my 54th birthday, which was six years ago. It's a 10 pound lobster. It was live, and basically what I did was I uh, did a taxidermy on it. And uh, you're gonna see here shortly how we uh, do it from the beginning to the end. Okay, hope you enjoy. Please be sure to like and share. Okay, so now we're gonna take the lobster apart. First thing we're gonna do, and I've already pretty much done it, is I took the tail off. And when you take the tail off, do it slowly so that you don't break it because what's gonna happen is we're gonna be gluing everything back together. And as you'll notice, it's a nice clean cut. Okay, it'll fit right back in there after we take the lobster meat out. Okay, so that's off. Then what we're gonna do, because we have to get the meat out of the tail, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of break the tail, the back end of it, carefully. Actually, we might even wanna cut it a little bit because this is also gonna be glued again. And we don't wanna break it completely off. We just wanna get that meat out of the tail. And you'll see right there that we've got pretty much all the meat is right there and we're gonna stick our finger in and we're just gonna kinda try to push it out. Kind of hold the tail straight so that you can pull that meat out. And again, we're trying to maintain the tail. And there we go. You'll see that came right out, the entire thing, including on the back end. And then what we're going to do is we're going to clean this out. But you'll see how I pretty much kept it intact. OK? So that's that. The next step is to take the legs off and basically again try to be very careful that when you do it that you break it off so that we can glue it back in at the end and you'll see what I'm talking about when I'm finished. Now that one's going to go right in there and that's, that's our call. Grab the other one which is the big one. And again, try to get the whole thing so that we can glue it back in, okay? Now, also, make sure that you keep these uh, antennas wet because once they dry, they become hard, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave all the little legs on. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm not sure yet, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this whole thing in the oven and I'm gonna dry these out. And you'll see all the stuff in here. We're gonna wash all it out. We're gonna get all the, uh, the guts and everything else that comes with it out of there so that we can have a nice clean shell. And uh, there you have it for now. I'll be back in a little bit for the next step. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Okay, so I'm back. And uh, basically what I did was I cleaned out all as much meat as I could out of the inside of the shell. And basically what I did was I took the shell off the outer side. And you're gonna see how I, sc I scrubbed the uh, inside, scraped it all out. And then I, I'm, I'm left with this, okay, the carcass. Now, I took my fingers and I went in here and I got all the meat. You wouldn't believe all the good meat that's in this, uh, in this shell. And then what I think I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna boil this. But I just wanted to show you how I took the shell off and I got all that meat out because, you know, it used to be when I did the other one, the 10-pounder, that, uh, mm, that's good, that it, I, I actually uh, left this in the attic for about two months because it really stunk, okay? So when you dry this thing out, you want to try to put it somewhere, like in the attic, where you're not going to smell it. And it takes time to dry out. You can, I left it in the sun. 
I did all kinds of stuff. But anyway, when we get done, stick it right back on there. Pull these little claws out. And it will fit right back on when it's all dried out. You'll see that we still have our lobster. Okay? So, the next thing that we're going to be doing is we got to get the meat out of the claws and out of these little pieces here. Okay? So, we'll be back in a little bit. Talk to you soon. Okay, we're back. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to break off these uh, pieces of the leg, of the uh, claws. Okay? And again, be very careful, you know, when you break these off because we're going to be wanting to glue them back together. So. And you're going to see that I got that apart nice. So when we glue it back together, we stick that back in there, run some glue, and we're good to go. Okay? The next one is a little bigger. There we go. Okay, so we got our, our pieces off. The next part is that we have to get the meat out of these claws. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna break these off. And that's not too, that's pretty difficult. Try to do it easy because you might be able to get some meat out of that claw because we don't want to break that claw and we want to get all the meat out of this little piece right here like you'll see and there we go take that little piece of meat we need that and uh, i would keep this also okay that's that one. And then here's a little one. Try to get that out of there if we can. We're gonna have to get a little tool and get that meat out of that claw. That's it. Next thing, we're gonna beat the back of this or I may use the cutters because this will be against the uh, wall or the uh, plexiglass when we uh, hang it up and we don't have to worry about the backside. So, we'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to show you. I took a pair of tin snips and I kind of uh, just made a, uh, a cut in here so that we could get this meat out. And you'll notice that we're not damaging the shell too much. As a matter of fact, I've kept these, uh, these extra pieces which I'm gonna stick right in the claw. If I want, I can glue them back together and the shell will be whole. Okay, so there's our claw, ready to rock and roll. And uh, we'll be back, I gotta do this big one. And you'll notice, well this was the bottom, this is gonna be the outer, outer side. So we're gonna take these tin shears. It's a lot easier than trying to use a hammer just want to get that meat out that's all we want here's our meat I think we need to cut a little bit more. Best part of this is once we're done with all this, we get to eat it. Takes a little bit to get it out of there, but. Cut a little bit. 
bit more. Pretty big claw. I tried to keep it all in one piece, but it didn't work. As long as you get everything out. You see that right there? We got everything out. I could take those pieces if I wanted to and I could glue them back together. Nobody will ever see them. But uh, that's how we get the meat out of the claw. We'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Just wanted to uh, show everybody all the different parts. The only thing that we don't have right now is the, uh, the knuckles, but uh, we'll be getting to those soon. So I cleaned everything up and uh, we're gonna dry everything out and we're gonna start gluing everything together. Until then, we'll be back. Okay, one more thing. You see the antlers, right? They're gonna dry out and you're not gonna be able to move them or bend them because they become brittle. So kind of try to find a way and a position for both antlers so that when they dry, they'll be uh, in a good position, okay? That's what I just wanted to let you know, and we'll be back, thank you. And here we are. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna simmer this, this lobster carcass, I don't know, maybe about two hours. I just wanna get all that meat out of there, so our drying time, once we take it out, is a lot quicker, so we can start gluing things back together. Anyway, we'll be back. I might even throw it in the oven. You never know. Catch you in a little bit. Bye for now. Okay, we're back. Basically what I did <clears throat> was I actually stuck this uh, lobster carcass in the oven. I did a search on Google, and if you want to dehydrate something, get all the moisture out, you stick it in the oven at about 200 degrees. That's what I did with this. They say between 140 to 200 degrees. I left it in there overnight. Okay, so basically all we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it over the top and uh, we're gonna glue everything up and we'll be back. And uh, here you go. This is with the, uh, the top shell on and the body is, is all done, ready to go. We're just gonna add a little glue and that's it. We'll be back in a little bit, thank you. Okay, so here we are. We have all the uh, the knuckles all cleaned out. If you look inside, we took all the meat out of them. And you'll notice that I uh, didn't cut them all, you know, so they would break off. I kind of left it so that one side was still attached. And that way, when I glue them back together, it'll be simple. They'll all be in the correct position. And that's it. We'll be back. Okay. Before we start gluing everything back together again, I just wanted to show everybody all the different parts. And we're uh, ready to rock and roll with this. The little tiny pieces that you see, I'm probably going to glue them onto the back of those shells just to make it complete. And uh, we'll be back for more. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Okay, we're back. Everything's dried out and we're ready to start gluing everything up. So you're gonna notice that I bought two types of glue. Number one is the crazy glue, super glue by Gorilla, and also the uh, Gorilla glue, which is a little thicker. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna use the uh, super glue for the little pieces, okay? And also the knuckles. Okay, we gotta get those knuckles cleaned up. And basically what we do is we use that super glue to tack uh, the pieces together and then we uh, follow up with a, a coat of the uh, actual uh, Gorilla Glue. So we'll be back in a minute. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike. Okay, here we go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to tack these claws. And you'll notice that they move. Well, actually, I, I kind of pressed it right in, okay? But, and we want to leave this claw a little bit open just for uh, the looks of it. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna run some glue in the cracks. Wow. 
Once you glue this, it'll never move. Go around the whole thing. And there you go. Basically, uh, you don't want to lay it down because you don't want the crazy glue to drip onto the shell. So you need to uh, kind of hold it up a little bit. A couple of minutes anyway. Okay, so here's our next claw. And you'll see we've got the broken shell part, but I've also kept these little pieces as well. So we're gonna position this claw and again, we want to leave it open just a little bit. Make sure it's straight. And then just tack it. Now the, uh, the super glue is clear, so when it dries, it will dry clear. That's gonna take a couple of minutes to set up. The next thing we're gonna do is, is these knuckles. And then, uh, once we once we do that, we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, here's the other pieces for this year. We're gonna go ahead and put that back together like Humpty Dumpty. And uh, we'll be back. Okay, um, let me just show you something here, what I did. The first thing that you should remember is you should have a little towel. Because when you have a little towel or, you know, you can position, say we're, we're uh, putting glue on, on any one of these cracks. We don't want it, if it was sideways, it would leak over the other side of the uh, shell. So we don't want that. So basically what I do is I use a rag and I position it and then I uh, am able to uh, keep all the glue in the proper areas. So we'll be back. Okay, we're back. So if you'll notice, I've got all the pieces uh, spread out on the table. Each piece is waiting for the uh, glue to dry. Uh, you gotta do it one step at a time. So once uh, one side is dry, then you turn it around and you glue the other side. And, and again, we're just tacking things together and uh, we'll be uh, putting a final coat of the uh, Gorilla Glue on after we get done. Okay, so we'll be back. Okay. One thing uh, I almost forgot was that we have to glue the shell onto the carcass. So all you gotta do is find some spots throughout the shell that you can just tack to the carcass with the crazy glue. Four or five spots, all you need. We'll be back. Okay, here we go. What we're doing now is we're gluing the tail to the lobster. So basically, what I'm gonna do, what I've already done actually, I propped it up, and you'll see I have a, ta a, a towel underneath and a towel on top of the shell so that that lobster doesn't move anywhere, okay? And I positioned it perfectly so we could glue this shell. And basically all I did was I ran a bead of crazy glue right along that seam right there, and we're gonna let that sit there for about 20, 25 minutes and it'll be ready to go, and then we'll turn it over and do the other side. So we'll be back. Okay, so if you look at the, uh, the big claw over there, it's standing up inside that towel. I basically uh, connected the arm, and uh, we're gonna let that set for about 20, 25 minutes, and then we're gonna uh, glue it uh, all the way around so it, uh, so it stays. And uh, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. And as you'll notice, I've got everything pretty much put together. I've got the, uh, the entire lobster with the tail all hooked up, ready to go. I've got my claws all ready to go. Now this is the back side of the, uh, the claws. Like I told you, once we put that in a, uh, on a, uh, uh, the plexiglass or the back, you will never see that. Now if you want, you can take a crayon and you can go ahead and fill it in if you want with the crayon. I'm gonna do that in a little bit. And uh, you're gonna see this one here also. Everything's ready to go. 
all the pieces back together. And uh, one, one little thing here that I want to just take a look at is you're going to notice that the glue, the uh, Gorilla Glue, actually uh, turned out a little bit white. So I'm going to take my little crayon and I'm just going to kind of fill that white in because what we're going to do is we're going to put some, uh, some gloss lacquer. We're going to spray the whole lobster inside out, etc. for protection. Plus it's gloss, so it's going to make it look a lot nicer. You can see how I'm filling in this, filling in the, uh, the white with the red. It won't be so apparent when it's hanging on the wall. You'll never see it. like that. You can even get underneath a little bit if you want over here. And there you have it. We'll be back. What we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish the, uh, the coloring with the crayon. Just kind of touch it up a little bit and uh, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to use some uh, Rust-Oleum lacquer. It's high gloss, and it's going to make the uh, the lobster look really cool. So, I also wanted to show you now that we have the uh, the orange uh, on the lobster that you can barely tell. In fact, you'll never see this again anyway because it's on the back. But just to do a good job, okay? That's all done. This claw here. You'll see it's all back together. And what I want to do is I want to shellac the back sides first so that we can put our, a real nice finished coat on the other side. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, make sure you shake up your can really good. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start shellacking. And you know, all you need is a light coat. Just a light coat is all you need. clear coat. They also use this on furniture and metal, but it'll protect the, uh, the lobster. Make sure you get those antlers because, you know, I left this uh, lobster outside last night and the uh, moisture from the dew actually loosened up those antlers. So <laughs> I came out here this morning. It was nice because I could reposition them. But uh, if we put a uh, coat of lacquer on them, they won't loosen up anymore. So we're going to go ahead and let that dry. And then we'll hit the other side. I might just uh, put another coat on it. But anyway, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. I put two coats of lacquer on all the, uh, the back sides of the pieces. And uh, you'll see how shiny this looks nice, right? So we're going to go ahead and uh, turn everything around and uh, just to show you how nice that looks. And that's before and after. Well, before and after. And then go ahead. Make sure that when you uh, turn this lobster over or you move it, be very careful of the tentacles. We don't want to, uh, we don't want to disturb those tentacles and we don't want to break them off. Okay? So you're going to see. There we go. And uh, I looked upset for about 10 minutes. Lacquer dries pretty quickly. So we're gonna go ahead and spray the uh, lacquer on the, on this side. See how it gives it a nice shine, right? Get those tentacles good too and you'll never have to worry about them loosening up if you get damp it stamp out or whatever I also 
Um, wanted to mention that I purposely did not put the claws on yet because it's a lot easier to do your shellacking first. And then uh, once that's all done, then we'll go ahead and we'll glue the, uh, the claws on and we'll be ready to rock and roll. And that's it. We'll be back again in a little bit. Okay, here we are. We have a completed lobster. This is called, by the way, taxidermy. Lobster taxidermy. You'll notice how shiny it is because we put that lacquer on. The only thing that we have to do now is glue those claws to the shell. And we'll be done. It looks pretty awesome. And we'll be back. Okay, we're back. Time to uh, attach the uh, claws to this lobster. And basically what you do is you just fit that piece right back in to where the, uh, the claw came out originally. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna tack it with crazy glue everywhere we have contact. So let's do that and uh, we'll be back. Okay, here we are. I've got both of the, uh, the claws attached to the lobster. You'll notice how I put quite a bit of glue in the middle because uh, we have to bear the weight of those claws on both sides. So when it's hanging on the plaque, they don't go anywhere. And uh, once uh, this is dry on this side, we're gonna turn the, uh, the lobster around and just kind of tack it on the other side of these claws to make sure that they don't go anywhere. Okay, so that's it, we'll be back. Okay, and here we are, we're all done. Lobster claws have been attached. You'll notice that I've got a, uh, a piece of plexiglass. We're gonna use that to uh, attach the lobster. We're gonna glue that to the uh, plexiglass. We're gonna drill a couple of holes uh, in each corner at the top so that we can then hang it on the wall. And you'll notice that uh, I made this lobster for my 60th birthday. And uh, you'll notice that uh, myself, Lisa, and my nephew, Jared, ate this lobster on May 28th, 2018. And there you are. Please be sure to like and share this video. We would love to see it go viral. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. And uh, we'll be back another time with a new video for you. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye for now.